Hello, this is Magnolia Mo, and you are watching my channel on YouTube. Today, we are going to, to be going over some tips to optimize your home theater. Um, I'm only going to go over the audio piece today um, uh, because it's the simplest and, and the easiest uh, uh, thing that you can do. Uh, from an <clears throat> audio point of view, uh, your, your, once your auto setup is complete, right, from on your processor or your receiver, whether it's Odyssey, Direct, Wipow, uh, or Arc, um, I'm probably missing some here. But <clears throat> once that, that routine, once the auto setup uh, uh, routine is complete, uh, it is good practice to use an SPL meter to calibrate your, uh, your, your speakers further, right? To actually level match your speakers uh, so that each speaker, the output that you're getting from each speaker is the same right so when sound pans you know from center to left or center to right uh, there is no audible difference in in the level because that right there uh, if there is a difference you're not going to get the immersive sound you know when when from all your speakers like I've, I've found you know my my surround uh, left or right could be off right and and uh, one would be sounding, you know, louder than the other. So it's not, it's, it's, it's not the best uh, experience, right? So for, for best experience, uh, you have to use an SPL meter uh, to level match your speakers once your, your auto setup is complete. Um, from, for an SPL meter, you know, I use my old Faithful, it's a Radio Shack analog uh, SPL meter that I purchased years ago. I want to say 2006, you know, uh, from Radio Shack. Uh, I, I love it. I still have it. <clears throat> uh, it is, uh, it, it's still running. It still works. Uh, you can, you can try to find these on Amazon. I haven't seen an analog one on Amazon, but I do see quite a few of these uh, digital ones. Uh, I, I bought this uh, thinking that this would do a better job than, than, um, than the Radio Shack uh, analog SPL meter, but uh, it, it doesn't. Um, it, it's the sound. The sound is all over the place. Uh, the level is all over the place on this one, um, and um, and and I don't typically use this. So I use the the analog one uh, to make sure all the speakers are level matched. Uh, the, when it comes to an SPL meter, uh, there the right way to do to do this is to point it straight up not pointing it at the the speakers i mean that you're not checking for for uh you know speaker response right if 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 you're doing that yes then you would put it like at a you know at a at, at, at a closer distance uh, to the speaker and then you would get some measurements no you're trying to level match so from your main listening uh, position right your your the, the the primary seat that's where you're gonna uh, actually you can hold it uh, at ear level <clears throat> where the sound is going to be at ear level uh, and 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 lay back on your couch or you can put it on a tripod that's what I do I put it on a tripod uh, and 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 go from there uh, the the other thing with with these is obviously as I mentioned you can't point them you have to point them straight uh, and then how do you set up um, how do you set up the the SPL meter? You, as you can see, you have a, a a waiting option, and then you have the response, right? So for for waiting, um, I recommend using C. For response, I recommend using slow. Um, a waiting is 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 used by OSHA to to give us you know, measurements, right, uh, of noise, right, how loud a, a certain, like a dishwasher is, for instance, or, uh, or, or, you know, how, how lo loud the sound's going to be before it's going to damage your ears, right, that, you don't want to use that because uh, it is, uh, it is band limited. Uh, you want to use uh, C weighting and then for response, I prefer slow because it's an average, right? So needle stays stationary and it's not bouncing all over the place, you know, with, with, the, with the sound. Uh, so I use slow, I use slow and I use uh, uh, C, the, the C response. Um, you can use, you can try the fast, but as I mentioned, the needle is going to be going is going to be going all over the place uh c is more of an average so waiting re recommended is c not a uh, and then the response is slow and then the range uh, needs to be set at at 70 
<clears throat> on the SPL meter. And the reason for that is uh, movie soundtracks are mixed at an 85 dB level. Uh, 85 dB is, is, is kind of loud. So, you know, for, so for, for home theater, for our home theaters, I mean, it's, it's a, it's a, it's a general, uh, you know, uh, understanding that, that we can use a 75, uh, or that, that we can use the range of 70, but you know, your, your speaker levels, uh, when you're, when you're measuring the, the response uh, or when you're level matching them uh, would be at 75. So it needs to be 75 um, across all your speakers, right? That way you are you are going to make sure that you get the best surround sound experience. Uh, so, so that's basically it. Uh, use an SPL meter. I prefer an analog one. You can get a digital one uh, if you want. Uh, set it up on a tripod or hold it up, uh, pointing pointing up. Uh, and um, go into your processors menu, uh, speaker setup menu, and then uh, the, the speaker level menu, and then just run through all the channels and make sure that each channel is at 75 dB. Uh, and, uh, and that is, doesn't take a, long, uh, a lot of time, but I guarantee the results at the end of the day are, are gonna be spectacular. You're gonna actually enjoy uh, the sound and 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 the soundtrack or the movie that you're listening to and you'll get much more of an immersive sound Okay, so here's how uh, the mic is is placed right so it's placed it at my uh, the main listening position uh, I have um, I basically have three spots right uh, th That are directly in front of the display and um, and then these other spots those basically are for guests who I don't like I'll put them over there but <clears throat> I am very OCD, so, so I always try to make sure that I am placing the, the SPL meter directly, you know, in line with the center speaker, right? And, and again, it has to be pointed up. Um, don't, do not point it towards the speakers because you're going to screw up your readings. Uh, if you want the best uh, 3D immersive experience, <clears throat> again, you do have to do... To, to, optimize using this extra step over here. Once you have the SPL meter set up, you will go into the menu of your processor. Uh, I have a Marantz 8805A and all Marantz, Denon, and they have the same interface. So so you'll go into the, men, the setup menu and then once you're in the setup menu, you'll go into your speaker uh, selection <clears throat> and you've already run the Odyssey setup. So now you're going to go into manual setup. Uh, under manual setup, you are going to go uh, or go to the levels section. And then once the tone starts, and then you start the test tones, basically, right? So so the, the idea here is that um, you have to, to set your scale or your volume needs to be at 75 dB for your first speaker, right? So whether it's, uh, it is, t it generally is going to start uh, with your left speaker so that needs to be at that 75 dB level and then from there you will uh, adjust all the other speakers to match that 75 dB uh, oh. level. Right? So I'm gonna hit the test tones and and I'm gonna stay quiet as I then focus on on the SPL meter and show you uh, what the levels are in my room. So here's the test tone. So as you can see you have to bump up your volume, right? To for me, I'm going to go to zero. This is a a, a an, this is not the absolute volume level, but but it is at, in the dB uh, scale. So the scale is at dB. Zero essentially means 75 dBs. Okay. So so now I'm going to focus right here. This is my left speaker, left front. Center. Right. Right surround. Right back surround. Left back surround. I'm going to get out of the way. <clears throat> for the left surround. This is my app 
piece, uh, the ceiling top right. subwoofer you have to go to because I have two subs uh, you need to look at the combined subwoofer uh, level right so now for subs Odyssey does a great job uh, in equalizing your subs I don't match them I keep them a few dBs lower I know folks want to keep the the, the subs um, you know at the at the 75 db level or even run it hotter i just you know my personal preference is to to leave where odyssey you know does its setting uh and not mess with it uh, but in this case i did bump it up by i want to say three dbs so it peaks at that 72 db that all the other speakers are So there you have it. I mean, this is basically a, a, a quick setup um, uh, tip on optimization, you know, where you are level matching all your speakers to that same uh, dB level as your front left so that the, the surround sound is much more immersive. So, so there you have it. I hope you, uh, it, you enjoyed this little <laughs> demo on how to to level match all your speakers. Just one point to note, um, as you saw in that video, I my levels weren't exactly at 75 dBs uh, on that SPL meter, and that was because I, I could have actually raised the speaker volume past zero um, to, to get at that 75, but it was close. It was 72, 73 in that range. But uh, as you saw, um, the, even in that demo, there were a couple of speakers that were not completely matched, right? Uh, so that was a good exercise for me too to to actually make sure that that nothing changed. And it's it's very easy to mess up the 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 overall calibration. I mean, somebody could have, uh, you know, <clears throat> I could have just adjusted it, you know, unknowingly. It could, many things could have happened. So uh, it's always a it's always a good a good idea to check your speaker levels. Um, uh, every every six months or so just to make sure no no one messed with it or you didn't mess with it unknowingly um, at the end of the day you know the the idea is for you to uh, enjoy your movies and and your music um, to the best uh, capabilities of your processor right so it's a good idea to use an SPL meter to check your sound settings every now and then um, again Thank you, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to hit subscribe. Uh, and I'm interested in your comments, so please feel free to leave some comments down below. Uh, I will uh, review, I will respond, um, and uh, have a great day.